Hello boys and girls. Um, today, to liven up this episode of uh, Let's Play <coughs> Evo Search for Eden, we're going to be reading um, a wonderful little fanfic uh, that I have selected for your viewing entertainment. <coughs> Agony in Pink, the special edition the by the Dark Ranger. Preface to the special edition. Many of these works are deliberately vile, offensive, and excruciatingly violent in ways that will always guarantee some sort of cult following. They are not tame, domesticated little beasties. They're wild, dangerous, and they bite. I already hate this. Um, I'm gonna slow the scroll down a bit. <clears throat> there we go. <coughs> Kaz Bullen wrote the above words about extreme horror films, but he could have written them about a subset of stories posted on the internet. I think my stories would be counted among the group that Chaz is describing, and chief among them is a little tale I created entitled Agony in Pink. So far this is fucking dreadful already. I wrote Agony in Pink several years ago and posted it to the internet news group alt.sex.stories. When it was first posted, Agony in Pink seemed to stand out as one of the most extreme stories that had found their way onto the net. As such, it generated a huge amount of comments, flames, and discussion. <coughs> Some of it were positive, some of it negative, but little of it indifferent. It's become sort of a legendary story. I've actually seen discussions where some people claim it doesn't exist, that it's just an urban legend. But it did, and does exist. However, before I started reposting it, I wanted to do a little tweaking at the story. So in the grand tradition of George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, and John Waters, I'm sure that last one is very funny to someone, I am now proud to present Agony in Pink, the special edition. The story which follows is the original story with a few minor enhancements, I've corrected a few misspellings, fixed some tense problems, and reformatted some paragraphs to make it a little easier to read. In addition, every special edition needs to have something that the author has never posted, so I'm including- Oh, this is scrolling too fast. Oh my god, look out, look out, oh my god, look out, oh god, fight for your life. <coughs> You may be aware that I've written and posted a sequel to AIP called Agony in Pink 2, A New Ending. This is less of a true sequel and more of a retelling of the original story, a la Evil Dead 2. However, I had begun an actual sequel that picks up where AIP left off. I have included the chapter from the sequel where the events of the first story are related to the characters. By the characters. In addition, I'd like to make a plug for a painting entitled Agony by Tom Rockwell. The painting was inspired by Agony in Pink, and it is a brilliant and terrifying piece of art. Tom is charging a nominal fee for producing a print, and if you are an Agony in Pink fan, I urge you to check out the painting on Tom's website at blah 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 and order a copy. No, I am not Tom, nor am I in affiliated with him, nor do I get any commission for his sales. However, the painting is officially endorsed by the Dark Range, and Tom was in contact with me, and I gave him my blessing. And Tom is a talented artist who should be supported. Fuck, this is such a load of dribble. Ugh. So without any further ado, I now present Agony in Pink, the special edition. Enjoy the Dark Ranger. Preface and warnings. You're fucking kidding me. You're still fucking talking to yourself? For fuck's sake, man. Just You don't need to fucking put all this garbage in front of your fucking wank story. It's not culturally significant. It's not special. It's just a fucking load of bullshit about the fucking Power Rangers having sex. For fuck's sake. <sighs> it doesn't even have a fucking Charmander in it, I bet. Sorry, did I say Charmander? I meant Charizard, obviously. The following story is based on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. There have been other stories, but this is a much stronger story than those other ones. Seriously, I fucking hate this guy already. He's so fucking up himself. Which are a little too nice for my tastes. This particular story involves Kimberly, the Pink Ranger, being captured and tortured by the Ranger's arch nemesis, Lord Zed. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the series, you may be unfamiliar with the characters, and I will try to give a brief overview. Uh, there are five teenagers with attitude. Um, White Ranger. Yeah, alright. The story which you are about to read is a fantasy, and will not be to everyone's tastes. It is pretty strong, 
and contains graphic violence, sex, and torture, and an ego on the level of Jonathan Blow. And despite the fact that the bad guys are clearly not realistic, it still may be upsetting. I'm sure I don't have to say that despite the fact that it is a Power Rangers story, it is NOT. That's all in capitals with stars on either side. FOR KIDS! If this type of story is not to your tastes, please do not read or download. Feel free to post comments about the story. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy. Alright, um, that's probably a whole episode right there. We'll be back shortly.